large international interest in fuel economy and freight and efficiency for trucks. And our motivation for doing this was to bring together many known technologies, bring them all together in one place and see just how good we could be. And that idea started nearly five years ago now. Uh, about four years ago we came across Bob Slyler and then we agreed uh, that we would collaborate over a period of you know, three or four years to take all of those ideas to bring them all the way through to a truck that we could actually try uh, and run across American roads under real freight haulage conditions. And four years is now up. We've done just that. Uh, we've arrived in Jacksonville with absolutely outstanding fuel economy and freight and efficiency figures. And I think the value of doing that and the conversations that it's causing uh, are really evident in all of the presentations today. Uh, and really, really exciting and both really well for the future. My name is Chris Guerrero and I am the Global Brand Manager for Shell Lubricants for Heavy Duty Diesel Engine Oils. And I want to talk to you today just a little bit about the energy challenge that we're facing and the reason that the Starship Initiative made sense for us. If we look at the biggest generator of CO2 on the planet today, it's the transport of humans and goods. So as part of the trucking industry, it's one of the biggest areas that we have to tackle if we're going to get the topic of CO2 under control. In fact, if you look behind me, you get an idea that burning one gallon of fuel generates 22.4 pounds of CO2. If we could just improve fuel economy by 1%, that would be the equivalent of removing 23,000 trucks from the roads in North America today. Which is why the Starship Initiative project is so critical. It's an opportunity for us to put in technologies that are available today, combine them in ways that they haven't been combined, and really see what works and what doesn't work. And at the end of it all, the intent is not to come up with a single solution to save the world, but to begin a conversation. Because through that conversation of us working together, trying different things, being willing to admit what doesn't work, celebrating the things that do work, we think we can land at a better place when it comes to fuel economy and make a difference for the world, not in some distant future, but today. Hi, I'm Megan Pino, the Shell Rotella Global Brand Manager and Project Lead for the Starship Initiative. I'm really proud to have completed this demonstration vehicle. We were looking to combine technologies available today in order to realize what's possible in maximizing freight ton efficiency and lowering CO2. And I think we've done a great job of that, really proud of the results, but certainly more to come, uh, more that can be done, and we'd love for you to join in the conversation um, to talk about ideas that you have in order to lower CO2 emissions and just get involved um, in that discussion. Hi, I'm Dan Arce, Global OEM Technical Manager for Shell Lubricants, and we're here with the Airflow Truck Initiative today. What I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about some of the technologies that we've built into this truck. First, let's look at those technologies for aerodynamics. As you can see from the cab, the sleek design allows for good, clean airflow across the truck. Along with, we have added trailer and tractor skirts on this truck, again, to improve airflow and reduce drag. We've also added technologies to improve efficiency. These things include a six by two axle design, and we've also put on it 5,000 watts of solar panels that charge a 48 volt system. Next, I'd like to talk about the shell lubricant technologies that are used in this truck. In the engine, we're using a full synthetic, low viscosity product called Rotella T6 Ultra 5W30. This is an FA4 performance product that provides fuel economy benefits. In addition, in the driveline, we are also using low viscosity axle oils and low viscosity transmission fluids. We are here at the Starship Finale in Jacksonville. We are showcasing an augmented reality showing the different innovations and operational efficiencies behind the vehicle. So what's really cool is here on the iPad you'll be able to get a full 3D view of the Shell Starship. 
you can see the top, the solar array here, but you can also click on any of these little hot spots and it'll go more in depth about those different technologies. So he's driven about 7,000 miles uh, cross country from his shop in Connecticut down to several other trade events in the Southeast US and then all the way west to California for a few events. And then we did the coast to coast demonstration run from San Diego to Jacksonville to measure the results of freight ton efficiency.